Hi everybody, I hope you're well. I'm just so happy today to bring you this video. Uh, the video is a recording of a treatment that my wonderful friend Katriona McDonald carried out with my two horses a few days ago. And, oh goodness, for me it's, um, it shows energy and connection in its purest form. So Kat comes from a background of cranial osteopathy, shamanic practice, healing, and she combines all of her experience to do the work she does now. And so she connects with the horse on a very deep level and also helps them physically and structurally. So as we're, Kat was working, I'm also working, conditioning the field, you know, doing my bit, which is we were there to help these horses to the best of our ability. So we combine forces and Kat works her magic. It's just amazing. So you'll see during the video that although Kat is working on Evie, Teasel, it looks like Teasel's having the session at the same time. I mean, she has her own individual work at the end, but it's, there's no barrier. This is you know one of the examples of the energy and connection because um, Teasel is just as gone as Evie. <laughs> it is so amazing to watch. Um, and it was really magic. The universe worked for us on so many levels that day in that Kat could come early, I was free, so we had more time. Um, nobody came to the yard, uh, so we had peace and quiet. Um, and then during the session, there was also a really magical piece. So um, Evie actually connected with Kat and Kat connected with Evie so that Kat picked up what Evie's soul journey, if you like, was to be or is and some of you may have seen me um, talk about Teasel when Kat first came to see Teasel when Teasel first came to me and Teasel relayed, relayed to Kat that her journey Teasel's journey on earth was about helping Iberian horses in that Iberian horses come from a long history of warfare being used in war and being used in bullfights and it was about, she was saying to Kat, you know, showing Kat that part of her journey was the healing of that, that the wrongs that have been done and the um, healing of the Iberian energy. So when um, Kat is working with Evie, as you'll see, Evie relays to Kat that it is her journey is about connecting back to the wild side of the horse. And when I say wild, I don't mean the wild kicking and bucking, I mean the ancestral wild horse and that Evie starts to feel safe and to trust that she can um, connect to that side. And part of her, she sort of says to Kat, part of her journey is to help other horses do the same. So totally magical. And then, and I haven't got this bit on video, unfortunately, but um, Evie then gifts to Kat the feel of wild horse energy. So Kat can recognize it understand it and the reason this is so amazing is that Kat um, is carrying out ceremonies called imaginal horse circles which is all about combining the the energies of the horses with the people to help everything move forward on every level so the fact that Evie was able to gift that to Kat at this precise moment when Kat has just started doing these imaginal horse circles is beyond you know that's the universe certainly at work so I do hope you enjoy it um, <laughs> one caveat uh, you will hear Kat talking you know explaining what's going on as she was explaining it to me I'm in the background doing a lot of ooing and ahhing which I do apologize for and if you'd rather watch with no sound at all just turn the sound down because quite honestly the horses, when you watch what's happening, they tell the picture for the, you know, tell the story for themselves through through watching them. It's so, oh, it was just so magical. So totally blessed and grateful to have been there in person to experience that energy and experience what happened. And I hoping that this video does something to uh, share it with you and that you enjoy it as much as we did. So until the next time, take care. So Kat starts working with the two horses, well starts working on Evie actually, and Teasel immediately goes to lie down. And then she has a big roll, 
and gets back up and you see her here is just standing in the zone beside Evie as Kat's working with Evie. And then um, after a little while with them both enjoying the process, Evie has a big stretch and she goes to lie down. So Evie is lying here quiet while Kat's working. And Teasel, meanwhile, is completely away with the fairies. And you can see her nose is twitching, her nostrils, her lips and her eyes. And it's not long before um, Kat then starts picking up some information from Evie. And so it's almost as if her life before hasn't let her she hasn't she hasn't been able to express that soul journey she's got quite, quite blocked in it but coming here she's oh don't you know, it's like she's letting go there's a real like letting go of her in her into that so she can kind of trust oh. that she can oh god i hope i can it. fulfill that for her yeah no but you already are Kathy. And it's like a trust for her, so she's learning to trust. Yeah. That, that, that it's almost as if she can trust that it's okay for her to be that fully. And be safe. And be safe in yeah. it. And that yeah. And somebody's not going to go, oh no, we can't manage that. We can <gasps> shut that down. That makes so, and hopefully this one can help her yeah. because she's there, you know, yeah, that she can absolutely. be herself. Oh, that's so beautiful. Thank you for that. Oh, hello. We've got this one. I'm in a quick stretch. Sensing her of, like, the wild horse, the wild oh. pony somehow. Like, she's got that... Her pony. ancestry sort of thing, yeah. yeah. Very strongly that that is in her somehow. So, yeah, it's so that's an important part of her soul journey that she can keep that connection to what it means to be, you know, a horse, a wild horse, oh, but yeah. at the same time have connection in the human world. A foot in she, each camp sort of thing. Yeah, exactly. So that she doesn't have to shut down some of that. Of her? Yeah, of that wild connection in order to be safe. And because I think it is really safety, safety. Yeah. Really safe in the human world. Oh my goodness, that's interesting because we've got this one trying to heal the Iberians mm. <laughs> and then this one mm. connecting wild with domesticated. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Ah, oh, what a special day. When Teasel first arrived. About the Iberians. Yeah, and it, it was not so, it was obviously not her personal story because she'd never been a bullfighting horse. Yeah. And it, and it feels like that with her, that it's almost, um, it's not even, you know, she hasn't got an event where she went, oh, I expressed my wildness and, and mm. you know, it wasn't safe, this happened and it was all bit awful. It's almost as if she's carrying something. The ancestral. Yeah, yeah, and so, yeah, she, she's just come in to create that healing between, you know, how does a horse retain that intact connection to their deepest nature, which is what wild horse is, in yeah. terms of the particularness of the nature of horse. That's interesting because that's what I felt when I've worked with Mustangs. Yeah. You know, particularly when I've... That's her, not me, by the way. I haven't fed you anything yet. Anyway, so you're <laughs> all right. Um, when um, I work with Maddies, yeah. they were so instantaneous to connect to the energy. Mm. It was like there were 18 layers, weren't there, you know, of, of yeah. shit, and that the wildness was still there to come forward really easily to connect with. I just called them elemental because they were yeah. so, yeah. 
in the moment. Here's the two of them just lying completely gone. <laughs> She's just tractioning through that pel side of her pelvis with her leg, <laughs> which is easing her neck. Amazing. When they're given the chance to do it and the help. It was so interesting to watch the horses as Cat worked because they were completely gone and Cat was doing, as you can see, just very little and then progresses to not even touching at all. But their eyes, they were just completely gone and there were times when they moved and I thought, oh, they're going to wake up. But they just weren't there. I mean, you can see Evie here. Her eyes are closed. And her nose is on the floor. And then coming over to Teasel, she's exactly the same. Completely in the zone. Processing, completely relaxed. And there she moves. And I thought, oh, you know, is she going to come round and get up? But no, that was just some movement she felt she needed to do and she stays where she is just processing whatever's going on and Evie in the background you can see her there with her nose on the floor yet again and again there's Teasel looking at me and I thought oh hello she's going to get up but no Here, Evie, I think, would have liked to have lain down, but the wall was in the way, so she had to make do with bringing her head down, back round, and her nose to the floor. Is she back in the room? Here, yeah, she's just coming back to it. I'm pretty sure here she actually scratches her neck on the wall a bit. There. 
And it was interesting because earlier um, Kat had said how she was bracing her back right leg to release her neck, so it made me wonder if she was feeling something then when she came back into the room, as I say. And again, I thought Teasel was going to get up, but in fact, the opposite happened. <laughs> that was the result. <laughs> Teasel was absolutely flat out. Are you picking anything up from her? Yeah, she's so her body tip, like the quality of her body tissues is loads better than it you know was for a long time. Brilliant. She's really been able to maintain that. There's still a bit of congestion there. Yeah. And she feels like there's some tension, like there's a little bit of a block at the diaphragm. Where she's always been a bit, isn't yeah. she? Yeah. yeah. So, so that's just showing a little bit. Um She's got hiccups now. Has she? I've never seen a horse with hiccups. Mm -hmm. Doesn't happen very often. Yeah, so that's obviously diaphragm spasm. <gasps> that's yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I do hope you enjoyed it. For me, one of the magical things is that you can see throughout the video that not much is being done physically. You know, there's no manipulation or anything going on like that. This is all about energy and connection. Kat was sitting with him in her work, I was sitting within mine, and the horses respond. The horses connect, the energy is changed. They sit into that energy and they um, illustrate that beautifully. You know, like Kat was working with Evie, but then Teasel has gone into the zone without anybody doing anything perceiving. You know, we know we're conditioning the space. Cat's working within the energy field as much as me. Yeah, you know, we're both working together and this is the result. So, um, yeah, they are magical, magical horses. Um, if you want to get in touch with Cat, I will be putting everything in the blurb accompanying this video, but her web address is www.reembracingkinship.co.uk and if you go to her website, you can sign up for her newsletter to get all of the information. Um, she's got information on there about these imaginal horse circles, which are absolutely amazing. And I think the next one is on the 20th of March. So do go there, subscribe to a newsletter and get everything, you know, all the information. She's also on Facebook, Reembracing Kinship and Insta, same thing. Uh, for myself, I'm www.kathyprice.co.uk. Uh, you can get in touch with me there. I'm also on Facebook, Point of Balance with Kathy Price, and Insta, I think it's Kathy Price Point of Balance, just to be different. Um, yeah, if you subscribe, go to my news, uh, no, my website and subscribe to the newsletter. Uh, yes, you'll get all the news, and also I run a monthly draw for subscribers so that every month I give away a free session at Point of Balance. I just draw a name out of the hat and somebody gets a free session so it'd be great to you know see you and keep in touch that um we're both here if you want to find out anything else about our individual work please get in contact uh so just to say totally blessed and grateful to be able to do this work and to be able to experience something like we did as shown in this video so until the next time sending you lots of love and hugs and take care <laughs>